YouTube, what's going on? It's Lucy for the Salutes for Kicks. We're back with another video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and tap that notification button so you know when I'm dropping another one of these things. And you too can be a part of the Four Kicks Brigade. I left that out a couple of videos. It's important. We want to get down with the Four Kicks Brigade. So it's Saturday morning, and um, the uh, Blue Games are dropping. I'm going to see if I can acquire a pair for the low ski. Got a few cars here. People camped outside waiting. There's some people inside. Are they open? Maybe we're too early. Hmm. All right, y'all. So I have secured my pair. And um, I was going to show y'all what happened um, in between me copping these sneakers and um, jumping back on here. And you notice the jump cut. So, I got my pair, and they were letting customers in one at a time for security reasons and for, you know, it was just easier to manage people. But the pair that I got, they had a nine and nine and a half in 12s. I should get a nine and a half because the toe box is a little bit too snug for my liking. Um, so, I got it, and I had to go back in. Because when I looked at the shoe in the car, I noticed back on the heel, on the uh, midsole, there was paint missing off the black area. There was a scuff. Or they just failed it. Well, I think they just failed to paint that area. And I had the black paint. It worst came to worst. And I just simply wanted the shoe. I could have fixed it myself. But why should I if I'm paying for it? It's supposed to come ready. But that's the thing I'm talking about with uh, you know the shoes that get released in mass and everything, and people wanting absurd prices for them. So we're gonna get to the house and we're gonna do a review on this sneaker. I know you've seen the video, 5011 videos on this sneaker I'm gonna talk about. With a lot of hype, a lot of disrespect, a lot of negativity. This shoe was released, and I personally thought this shoe would be something a lot of people would just be overly positive about because of its counterpart, but not necessarily its counterpart, counterpart because there are some differences with this particular sneaker. So we're talking about the release of the Game Royal 12s, the Blue Games, whatever you wanna call these sneakers, and why this sneaker may or may not have done really well. Well, it's still available on some sites online and it may be floating around in some stores. However, I know here in San Antonio, it sold really well in my area. So I went to a standalone Foot Locker today, one of the one I normally frequent because I went there and did a little intel the day prior and inquired about it. And they said it was first come, first serve. They actually let you in the store one at a time and you got your sneaker. There were people there early and um, I got there a little later than I wanted to, but there were pairs available. They had a size nine and nine and a half for me. However, with, without, you, you guys know me. You guys know me. When I go to pick up a sneaker, it's seldom smooth. You've seen the videos. I am not being animated or exaggerated or giving you guys any type of form of hyperbole when it comes to it. It's just sneakers and I, it's always going to be something dramatic. So I went in, paid for my sneaker, walked out, did something I normally don't do. I normally look at the shoe while I'm in the store a little bit and go, oh, okay, it look good. Blue spray, all that good stuff, paint. Make sure I get the best version at my size. However, I got in the car and I had to make a phone call and I'm looking at the sneaker and there's a blue splash of paint on the midsole where the black should be. I said, hmm, I need to swap these out. If I'm paying this amount of money for the shoe, although I got my discount, I got it with the military discount, I went back in and said, hey, I'm gonna need another nine and a half. In 12s, I should wear nine and a half because they are a little snug. Nine and a half, 10 is the best fit for me in 12s. And I'm looking here on my shelf, and yes, all of my 12s are nine and a half, and I have one, my cool grade 12s are a size 10, which fit great as well. But I knew a size nine would be way too snug for me because of the toe box of the shoe. So what really caused a problem with this shoe that made people say, ah, I'll wait to get them on sale. 
I don't think they're all that. <sighs> You're not telling the truth, people. Here's what it was. I'm gonna show you a sneaker that basically, once the pictures came out and the early look videos came out, would kind of flip you off and say, hey, I'm not gonna get that sneaker because of this. You basically want an alternate version of the flu game with the game Royal Colorway. But they didn't do that. They wanted the sneaker to pretty much speak for itself and stand alone. So they didn't give you the complete flip of that sneaker with a, basically the opposite colorway. They did something else for us. Well, obviously we know on the flu games that that is leather. But they put this on the game Royal 12s and people didn't like that. They did not like that. A lot of people did not like this monochrome sneaker. Yes, they gave you the traditional box that the 12s normally come in. And the official name, Air Jordan 12, Black Game Royal Black, or the Blue Games, okay? Hey, shout out to my man with the velour, velvet, whatever that was, do-rag that came on. He was in full character today. I was like, uh, wow, wow. I don't really do a lot of store vlogs anymore because of some things that happen here in San Antonio and I'm concerned for people's jobs. So I don't really do that anymore due to something happening. If you live here, you know what I'm talking about. So I don't really do this in-store vlogs anymore. I've gone a different path. I can still get you the content though. But shout out to my man that had on the velour or velvet do-rag that was royal blue. Yeah. So here we are on this wonderful shoe. It's dope, it's dope. Now, if you're someone that owned the Game Royal Jordan 1s and you don't like these, I'm scratching my head. But there's another sneaker that kind of accompanies this as well and it's not as uh, color blocked as it is as the other ones, but I do have that sneaker on here. And I'm like, well, just complete the set. The Flight Suit Blues. Remember these joints? They actually sold pretty well. Now. It's not a a full accompaniment of the sneaker. However, it does have the Game Royal and the black block in there somewhat. So I had to have this one in my collection until I get the Game Royal ones. And I could have had the Game Royal ones, but I told you all there was a time in my sneaker collecting that I was not doing a retro one thing. But coming in at $190, and hey, this is basically somewhat of a limited general release. If you snooze, this sneaker is pretty much gonna go away. I did a couple of things this morning on the release. I got the, the alert that the shoe was releasing, and I went on finish line, and I dropped it in my cart. Just like that, no issues. Well, I sat and waited and said, hmm, should I get up right now and go and stand in this line at the sneaker store, or do I order this online? I said, you know something? I want my discount. I want my discount. I don't want to pay that extra $40 and you know, all that good stuff, but it worked out for me. I was able to get them and they were still in my cart up until the time I pulled up to the store and was gone. So the sneaker was slowly moving, slowly moving. It's probably online in a lot of stores now. I haven't checked in the last few hours to see what's going on. And the other thing with the shoe, the biggest factor why people are hating on the shoe is the resale value. Face it, you're getting a few bucks over retail if you go via StockX, if that is your litmus test on if you should purchase a shoe. And that's really what's going on right now. People are matching the prices on StockX versus if they should buy a shoe, whether they like it or not, because they simply see sneakers now is a way to make extra money. I don't have a problem with that. And if I did, I would be a hypocrite because you saw in my last video, I came out rather nicely with some sneaker sales. So I'm not gonna say that. However, buy what you like, all right? Buy what you like. If your intention is to get the sneaker because you want to wear it and you're looking at stock as to go, hmm, how well is the sneaker doing? To gauge it in popularity, to see how well the sneaker is selling, if it's gonna hang around for a little while to see if you can get it on sale. And depending on your location, you might be able to get these on sale later on, or and like in my area, I think these are gonna be gone probably by Monday. You might see a, a, a 10 and a half on 11, and I told you all that it's not indicative of a shoe sitting. That simply means that's probably one or two shoes they have left. The sneaker is actually well made, okay? Now, when I said in the beginning of the video about that blue being exposed, that paint that was on here, it was right here on the midsole. Now, if you saw my video when I modified, I modified the uh, 
Jordan 11 Aris, it's the same paint color. I could have fixed it myself if they didn't have another nine and a half in there, but they had a nine and a half and they simply swapped the shoe out for me. No problems, no complaints, anything like that because he was like, oh, you know, he's one of our regular customers. I'm not gonna trip on him like that. But once again, right here on the mud guard, this is why people are balking on this shoe. Now I see a couple of little imperfections. Look at that, all right? Got them right there to be expected with a somewhat limited general release. You know, no paint issues on this one. Decent Jordan 12. Some people like this micro suede right here, whatever this is. I'm just gonna call it micro suede. Some people like that, some people don't. But you can't get everything, everyone. Sometimes you want sneakers to be unique, have a different feature and things like that. And you got the same feature, the micro suede on the medial side as well. So make sure you apply those discounts on your sneakers. Like I said, these weren't quick strike anything like that. Thank goodness. Thank goodness they were smart and realized no, we don't want to kill this. It's, this would look really bad if they quick strike these and put them at $200 and they hung around. It would be a complete embarrassment for the sneaker culture for this shoe to hang around like this. Given what this uh, this colorway means to the, the culture when it comes to retro Jordans. But comment, like, subscribe, tap that notification button so you know when I'm dropping another one of these things. And you too can be a part of the Mighty Four Kicks Brigade. If you're in the greater San Antonio area, make sure you come out next Sunday for the Lace Up event. My, my two young dudes out there, they're doing great things. Again, they're dropping the second version of Lace Up this year. And we're gonna carry the momentum over from the other events into this one. Make sure you come out. It's, it's gonna be dope, it's gonna be dope. Especially support two young fellas that are putting on their own sneaker show here in a major city. And I'm out of here.